Hi friends, welcome back to MX Decor. In this video, I am going to show you most beautiful landscaping design ideas and will tell you 7 essential landscape design considerations. Sometimes beginning a landscape project can seem overwhelming. Often you hear landscape professionals refer to a process term analysis and inventory. Don't worry, all this boils down to is knowing what you want and what you have to work with. A landscape designer will help you work through these 7 landscaping considerations. Take a look at them ahead of time and you will be on your way to having the yard you have always wanted. Number 1 is Shoes and Purpose When beginning a landscaping project, the first thing to consider is how you want to use the space. Decide what the desired purpose or purposes of your ideal yard are before making any other decisions. Common uses for outdoor spaces include entertaining, cooking and dining, swimming, playing, relaxing, and gardening. Now the second one is people and pets. Next you will need to think about who will be using this space. Will your landscaping needs to be accommodate young children or will it be primarily an adult retreat? Don't forget to think about pets. Animal often decade landscaping decisions. Number third one is environment and climate. Now it's time to take an inventory of your property. You will want to note things like sunny areas, shady areas, views, wind direction, water flow and drainage. Control points identifying no negotiable design constraints on the property that is door, thread short, straight, great etc. Now the next one is soil types and nutrients. Next your attention should return to your soil. It's important to make sure your soil has all the right nutrients to support the plant material you select. Soil which may be mostly sand, clay or rock will indicate which plant you should grow. A landscape designer can run soil tests for you and amend the soil if necessary. And the next one is planting zones. An important factor to consider before selecting plants is your planting zone. Your planting zone is determined by climate conditions such as temperature and rainfall. Knowing your planting zone will help you and your designer select plants that are appropriate for your location and thus much more likely to thrive. You can look up your planting zone online through the National Gardening Association. If you live in the west, you may have better luck using Sunset's planting zone. Now the next one is Hydro Zones. Once you have an idea of what plants you will be using, start thinking about how water behaves in your yard. If there are certain areas where water collects, you will want to grow plants there are that need a lot of water. On the other hand, if there are certain areas where water drains quickly, you will want to grow plants that like dry conditions. This process is often referred to as planting according to hydro zones. Now the last one is garden style. The final thing to think about is aesthetic appeal in the style of your landscaping. Consider the interior and exterior style of your home and try to create unity between these and your landscaping. Strive to make your outdoor space one that reflects your personality and makes you feel happy and relaxed. For a little inspiration, check out these garden styles which include Japanese modern cottage and deserts and all the pictures and images that I have posted in this video. We hope you find our video useful. If you want beautiful interiors and exterior designs for your home, then don't forget to subscribe MX Decor 
for further training ideas. Thank you.